Wetty Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 Today's Manga Nerdigan Live Reaction video. It's going to be for Vinland Saga chapters 164 and 165. So, it's not looking good for Siggy. It really isn't. His father is not happy with him at all. Um, let's get to uh, chapter 164 first and see what happens next. Father, I want, I want freedom from your designs. And chapter 164 is titled uh, Seeger Defiant. Um, Sigurd seeks to be his own man, but the chains of his father bind him. Get back, Hall. Listen now, foolish boy. I shall explain in a way even fools can follow. Between clan members, um, servants and thralls, this farmhouse is 87 strong. Furthermore, I rule nine, um, other farms in the vicinity. I bound it all together. Do you understand why? Because this island makes for uh, poor living. The land is a rocky waste. No grain will sprout here. The pastures are uh, paltry and few. The island cannot flourish any further. It has reached its limit. This is why I took control of the people of the wealth. Uh, of the wealth, I equipped warriors. We raid the continent with Viking excursions, but with one but um, but one goal to enrich our land. Thrice have we set sail, and yet we are still in need of more, much more. We lack it all: people, gold. Um, of course I knew that. I had dedicated my life in prepara preparation to be a worthy successor of your um, ambition. And now you stand ready, my son. You are able to follow in my footsteps. Under uh, you, Iceland can surely turn into a rich land. Sigurd, become the king of Iceland? What? I, I am sorry. I'm sorry. My, my cat was being weird. My cat's just like running around. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I see. Oh no. Dude, this is like, I don't know how many mangas have used chains, but lately, but Jesus Christ, this is getting ridiculous. Are they, are, like the, oh man, uh oh, Ziggy got captured in the chains. Uh, where did I go wrong with you, foolish son? Move, all of you now. Oh man, this isn't looking good. Father, your dream cannot come true. I waged battle in the mainland and I saw it clearly. Their armies are much too strong. Even if you trained every single man of this island and formed an army, you wouldn't match even the brigades of the Baltic Sea. Half the children die. You want us to meekly, uh, half, half the children, uh, I think it's supposed to be half, but it says half. Or no, maybe it is supposed to be half, and I'm just, whatever. I'm just gonna go with all this. Half the children die. You want us to meekly accept this? Children die all over the lands. You cannot solve that by waging war. With enough wealth comes safety and health. You do but pu uh, push our poverty into other lands. At some point, they shall surely strike back and make us pay double. We will lose it all. If we spend enough resources, our army shall be strong. Nonsense! You mean to build a prosperous realm while dispersing the wealth on war? Uh, what about the people? I know. I really, really don't want to say that there is like an underlying message about... Um, about America right now but I really feel like there is and it's about like it's about spending and I kind of I, I agree with it to an extent I do agree with what's being said what Sigurd is saying it's actually pretty accurate but I, I don't know I'm just gonna keep going here oh my I, oh my I see they're really at it mother well uh well, well, how can they say all those things while moving around so much? It's impressive. Mother, it is not the time to be talking of such things. Please make them stop. Don't let us down. Fight on, Siggy. Pancakes, no humping. My, my cat is humping my blanket. Stop it. Bad cat, no humping. Shouldn't we rather let, shouldn't we rather let them? This is the very first time that our boy dares to stand up to his father. And, um, look well, Halgird. Hey, no humping. Stop humping. He's been fixed. I don't understand why you're humping. You're a weird cat. Do you know that? Stop. Stop humping. Just lay down and relax, kitty. How long has it been since we've seen our lord with such a happy face? That's a happy face. All I can see is the visage of a raging demon. Is there any father who would not rejoice to see his little boy all grown up? You're uh, you're going too, aren't you, Hal um, Halgerder? It will get lonely here. Yes, I'm sorry, mother. Um, when you get a, get us some grandchildren, I want to have a look a looky here. Come. <gasps> Come around, I'm sure you'll get to see the Lord with the most unusual face. <laughs> yes, Mother, I will. So, but like, the thing that's really 
frustrating me about this is Sigurd, like, in all reality, Sigurd already had his own happiness that he could have made. But, like, this journey, I understand the journey and all that. But at the same time, it's like, it's like part of it, like, kind of, uh, the journey is about him growing up and, you know, and Sigurd uh, standing up to his father. And I, that's what we're get going for here. But at the same time, it's like you you were chasing a woman, but you had a woman at home the entire time. Like, huh? <laughs> but he found his freedom, so it, it works out in the end. Father, this land, we have not waged war for more than 100 years. There's no wealth in the world more precious than this. Enough, enough. Get out of my sight. Do as you will. I will never forget all you did for me. Let us go. Are you hurt, Lord? He's become such a strong man, hasn't he? Oh, he's so wild! Oh my god, Papa's so proud! But of course, he's my son! In his own way, the father sends off the youth who seeks out a new world! Oh! God, that's so beautiful! Okay, I like the that chapter was good. Homecoming Rebellion, and then Mother, take care! A new chapter begins, and chapter 165 is titled The Parting of Sigurd. Oh, well, Sigurd! You took my words, my son, and take good care um, of uh, Halgard or two. You listen? Keep her warm and healthy. Yes, mother. And you, um, Omer. Uh, ah, yes. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Been a while since my name came out. Uh, Helgi, yes. Began, ma'am. Um, diary, yes. Sigurd isn't following in our steps anymore. You are retainers of this house, not of him. You owe him no service. I wonder if you are aware of this? I understand. Siggy is just a wandering bird now. Eh? <laughs> I had thought about it. Like hell he did. Well, he won't be sailing a ship anywhere all by himself now, would he? Oh, the loyalty is real. Oh my god, the loyalty is so real. Um, You made yourself some good friends, Sigurd. The look on Sigurd's face is just like, he's like, what? Siggy, do you remember when you were a boy how bad you were at fights? Do you know why? It's because of your good heart. You never really wanted to strike your friends with a hardwood sword. Oh my god, that sounds so bad. You were uh, holding back all along, though you yourself didn't notice it. I did notice. I didn't. I did notice it. So so what? Everyone did. But I think it's a great idea for Siki to live his life away from the farm. He doesn't have to be a second half Dan, you know. I like our gentle Siggy who can't fight. No! No, don't do this again! This is what, uh, that's what I was about to say. You stole my words. Oh, my bad. Stop. Stop. Stop this useless blattering, you lot. Enough foolishness. We're going. If you have enough breath and need to chit-chat, use it to row. He's so embarrassed right now. Y yes, he was always like this. I'm counting on you. Row which way exactly, Siggy? Ha or east! We're going east! Here again, husband? Sigurd left a message. If Thorfinn, son of Thoris, happens to return alive, I pray thee give him aid. Should he succeed in his goals, he might well bring much prosperity, prosperity to Iceland. So he said. Humph, the boy is impertinent enough to me, uh, um, enough to uh, mean to use, uh, to use me? Yeah! Oh my god! I'm very, now it's going to be interesting to see if uh, they're going to catch up with uh, Thorfinn. But we're seeing the seasons pass. Two years later, calling all able men, arm yourselves and come to the shore now. What's the matter? What's the matter now? Strange ships are coming. Iceland, Thorfinn, um, home village, June um, 1021. Okay, why are we doing a time skip? Two, three, four, five, five ships, no six, quite the fleet indeed. And they're coming for us? Seriously? Well, I guess so. No way, this ain't good. Why here? What are you guys going on about? Maybe it's just merchants or something. Who started with the, this idea of attackers? Huh? Or Dunno? I'm pretty sure it was I um, Ilva. <laughs> it's Haftan. Haftan came for his revenge. I knew he would do it. Now, well, now take it easy, Ilva. So then, so so be it then, you scoundrel. I will not go down so easy. Um, I think I uh, recall something. Ilva's brother kidnapped a bride from Haftan's house, was it? That's right, yes, sir. But it's been over two years now. Fools, Halfdown never forgets a slight. Uh, this is a dirty, poor, uh, poor fishing village in the middle of nowhere. Who would come here with such a fleet if not him? Well, guess you're right. No way so many traders would care about us. Just to be sure, let's get your uh, get your bows ready. Women, go hide in the valley with the children. War! War has come! We ain't doing it! What? But what do we uh, care if the of us folks are getting into trouble? 
huh? The people on the head ship are waving to us, aren't they? Hey, hey, it's a trap. Don't lower your guard or they'll sweep all of you. Draw the first blood. It's kill or be killed. Is this really okay? Are they shouting something? It's working. Keep at it. Huh? They're not attacking, right? Yeah, you're right. What's the matter with you? Be quiet now, Ilva. They're trying to say something. The head ship. What the hell are you doing, you bloody idiots? <laughs> it's me, Thorf, instead of Thor. Uh, are you daft enough to take me for another cease your fire? Thorfinn? Who is Thorfinn again? <laughs> huh? Cut it out. Don't shoot. We're not your enemy. This is actually dangerous. Stay back, Gudrid. It's quite a warm reception, eh? Thorfinn makes his grand return? What? Next issue, Thorfinn shows the fruits of, of the last two years. Okay. I'm really, really worried about the pacing. And I swear to God, if Garm is not on one of those ships, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. <laughs> Please have Garm on the ship. Um, this next arc is gonna be... Uh, now we're going into a flashback arc. We had a time skip, but... Um, uh, Thorfinn is, uh, we're gonna go into a flashback arc. So I, I I'm really curious, because we knew Thorfinn was gonna get a flea. We knew he needs a flea. But the thing that I'm very curious about, though, is if he found, if we're gonna find out over these last two years, if Canute is, um, if we, if he found, you know, figured out that Canute's after his ass. I'm really curious about that. But I really hope this manga isn't ending. I really, really don't. I, I really hope it's not ending. I, I'm very scared that it is ending. That, like, this might be the final arc. I really am scared. Uh, unless it's done right, but... Uh. Anyway, um, I'm very curious uh, about your thoughts on um, these chapters. How Sirkard's content ended, I was totally fine with. I, I, like, I was kind of hoping that we were going to see Sigurd like, join up with Thorfinn or something. But Sigurd's doing his own thing, so, okay, I can respect that. But, like, I'm really curious if Thorfinn and Gudrun start, started do, getting busy, if they got married. We're gonna find that out in this arc, but I just, I'm so curious how shit's gonna go down. I really, really am. Um, and I'm very nervous, because this manga, it, it's, this manga has, like, broken my heart in so many ways, because Thorfinn's goal of killing Floki, it just never came to fruition, um, and, like, Thorfinn's just been such a goddamn wuss. It, and I, I know, I know, I know. I just was, I've just been hoping that, like, and maybe we'll get it in this arc. Um, we'll, that Thorfinn will gain his balance, will gain that balance that was much needed. I really hope it's not rushed. I really hope not. I really hope that we get to see Garm again. And I hope that Garm, because Garm, Garm did say that he's Thorfinn's friend, so... I'm um, very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Vinland Saga content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure um, you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.